Hey guys, this is Eric. This is Tim. And we are DE Miniature and Board Games. So, Tim, since our last time I got this uh, interesting little shipment in the mail from eBay, I picked up the uh, Great War. It was uh, by PSC Games. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a Kickstarter they ran that ended back uh, around March 8th of 2015. Right. I think they had like 800, 900 backers. Uh, the game itself kind of runs like. Uh, did you, uh, I showed you some of the Game of Thrones expansions that we did, right? Yeah, the the, the hex. Yeah, where you can yeah. add in the different, they just give you a plain green map right. and you add in. Same concept. Uh, also, this month, sometime, we should be getting our shipment of the first expansion, which was Tank. Uh, Tank ended, um... Uh, October this year. Yeah, October this year. Uh, now I did email the creator... Well, to see what, yeah, to see what the next expansion was, and I was like, you know, what's the next expansion? I go, planes, hint, <laughs> hint, you know, and he goes, he said, he does the wink back. He goes, I'm thinking French, so I think the next expansion probably, and if they go like they did with this one, which March about three late, three months later did the expansion, so I figure we probably should see a Kickstarter hit February. Maybe around February. I mean, it was, what, about a seven, a little over a seven month window for the first expansion of the tank. So we're, we're definitely due. Um, and I, I don't know if you checked back on it to see how well it's doing, but. Um, well, tanked it all as well. See, they did this, um, this voucher thing too, that mm -hmm. you got 10 pounds off if you were a backer for the Great War, which was really cool because, like I said, I got this one on eBay and I. So I emailed him. I said, hey, you know, can I use this guy's voucher? He said, yeah, all I need is the backer number. I didn't have the backer number. I had the name. So I sent him the name, and he's like, yep, yeah, we're good. Yeah, I mean, you know, from, from what I've seen, um, the Great War is, uh, first off, it you know, naturally it's based off of World War I. Um, and I remember the the fun part of the game is you play out actual skirmishes from World War One, And then if you win a battle you basically just want to try and whoever you and uh, whoever's playing switch sides, switch sides and, and try and do it all over again. Uh, you know, Townsend said that it is almost impossible to win both sides. Both sides. Um, so it seems like it would be a great, uh, a good fun, uh, to, to sit down and, and see if you can do it one way and then flip it around and see if you can come back on the other side. So, and, and you know, from what I saw too, it's, it's fast. Yeah, it seemed very fast. I mean, uh, once you learn the rules real right. So let's dig into it. The Great War, PSC Games. And by the way, they run a, they run great Kickstarters. Like I said, it you sent an email to this guy during the Kickstarter, you got a response within about twenty four hours. And that, that's he's, he's always really that's always a good thing when you're when you're talking about Kickstarters and new games. So, so the first thing we're seeing when we open up is the the unit summaries. It looks like quick reference charts. These are always handy because you can just sit you, you have them sitting in front of you. Right. While you're playing, you can go to the quick reference chart see what each unit does. It almost eliminates a, a, a large chunk of flipping through rule book pages. <clears throat> now, I, I looked in here too, and I think that at first when I pulled this out, I thought a page had fallen out of the rule book. Mm -hmm. But if I remember correctly, this was actually, these two scenarios were part of a stretch goal. Right. So there's two extra scenarios there, and then the rule book. Now you uh you got a chance to flip through this a couple days ago, if I remember correctly. Yep, thumb through it. And it's there's not really that a lot to it. It's um, it, I think it's more of the scenarios and, and how the scenarios need to be set up set up and, and what your what equipment you would need to have out there. Um, but as far as in depth, uh, complicated it's not. It's not one of those. Now, these are so light. 
They're they're wooden dice. Wooden dice, man. They, I I like them. That is Trey Original. Yeah, I mean, there's like nothing to them. They just they, you get a good roll off them. Good bounce. Yeah. It's pretty uh pretty neat to have uh wooden dice as opposed to the plastic. Now, I didn't go into too too much depth when I was looking through the rules. I know these have something to do with. The actions and how everything goes. Right. Um, I don't think it's totally card driven, but I, ha I think these have quite a lot to do with the game itself. Probably going to be something to do with experience in, in the game. Well, it's also, I think it's uh, ringers. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. This is probably going to. It's probably chucked full of natural history <laughs> of, uh, of some things that might have happened in some of these battles. Now, I know also during the Kickstarter, if you wanted more, even during the tank one, I could still have ordered another whole set of infantry if I wanted to. But um, they pretty much said that if you got one board, one set, of, one thing of infantry, because you can recycle them too. Right. Uh, now, there was a complaint with the British that when you were taking the figures off, the uh, bayonet snap off. I could totally see it. Um, but I mean, you know, I I use those snippers all the time, and I know this is a little bit harder plastic. Let me see. Let me see one that the bayonet's not actually attached to anything. Uh, they're they're not. There's one right there. Is there? Um, yeah. It, it's pretty hard plastic, so I I can imagine that if you slipped or snipped too hard, you probably would snap the bayonet off. Yeah, but popping these but out is. I, is not going to be a doable thing. You're going to have to cut them. <laughs> but you know, like with um, some of our other games that we play, you know, I, I paint the figures. Right. But this is one of those games that, I mean, I, I think if I got bored one day, I might do it. But I've got so many freaking figures. With the, it, you know, this is, a, yeah. this is a game to pull out on a Saturday afternoon when we're bored. And yeah, this, this looks more like if, if you're going to paint, you would probably want to do a mass overlay. You wouldn't want to sit there and... Uh, well, you know, we could use that gray war paints for the Germans right. and tap the guns and the faces and hands, and I think you're pretty much done. Yeah, I mean, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be that in-depth or that detail. They're... Because they're, who's going to be looking that close at them? Yeah, they're, they're pretty small. I um, mean, I used, to, I used to have a bunch of... Uh, these are like maybe twenty millimeter. They're not fifteens. They're a little bit bigger than fifteens, but they're about twenty. Yeah, they're not. They're but not they're still smaller than uh, than one seventy second scale. Which, for those of you who are my age, remember you used to be able to get like boxes of fifty uh, figures in an Airfix or MPC for like a dollar ninety nine. I think I think MPC. I think the last time I bought for MPC when I was at that like ten or eleven was like two fifty. Um. Now here's some of the counters. Now, now here's the interesting thing. These, this one has the counter for the artillery. Right. But if you remember, you know, you you asked what these were. Yep. And I told you, uh, one of their stretch goals was that you got the artillery pieces. So we have five German artillery, five British artillery, which you know, uh, and. Then, it, once again, you know, one of the complaints was that the packaging wasn't real well and some things got smashed up. Now, since the last time we looked at this a couple days ago, I looked even closer, I noticed some of the artillery guys' legs are broken. Yep. But, guys, a little bit of glue or if it's just bent. Bend it back. Well, you know, have you, have you seen the hot water trick? I've, I've heard the hot water trick, and I've heard uh, some folks swear by said hot water trick. Because, yeah. you, you know, um, you were talking to Don and I about it at Tree Fort one day. All you got to do with this stuff, folks, is boil some water. Let it cool a little bit, because you don't want to put these in boiling water. Right. And because they're so small, use some tongs, stick it in the water, and these should form back to the way they mold, the molds were. Most of your, we do this with the, the zombie side stuff, with uh, Mantix figures all the time and actually i learned a trick from a mantic video really mantic actually did a video on how to do it so you know if you guys are interested go to uh mantic on youtube and they've got a bunch of videos on different hobby tips and one of them is using the water to do the plastic molds that's definitely that's definitely pretty cool these uh eric these uh These are the counters that you uh, lay yeah. on the board. Man. And I just about, man, I, I lost the word counter, but I just 
these things are <laughs> these are definitely not like the figures. They pop out really Whoa. easily. <laughs> <laughs> Case in point. But there's one of your trench ones, and you'll notice there are different designs front and back. And these actually get laid over the board. Now, I know in the first Kickstarter, now in Tank, he didn't offer it. And a lot of people were kind of upset. And actually, I would have ordered another one had he had it. But you could order a second board so you could do larger battles. But actually, it's not That's, too big for the size of the figures. I mean, that it's not too is, bad. Th this is fairly large for, yeah, like you said, the scale of the... Uh, of the figures we're dealing with here. Here I am just laying it on top of everything. I will. Now, the final one was uh, one of the other uh, Kickstarter exclusives was you got your commanders in pewter. Hmm. So, you've got, I think it's six or eight. Eight. There's eight commander figures in here. So, you have your commander figures in pewter. The other stretch goal, the artillery pieces, you got the extra scenarios. Right, and and French should be coming. And I can't wait for my tanks this month. Because I want right. to I want to pop these things out. I want to play. But you know what? Because we're so close to the tanks, I want to wait till the tanks come. Yeah, I, I think the tanks are definitely going to, you know, bring in new scenarios. I'm sure there will be... No, oh, there's new scenarios. Right, new and scenarios if you bought, that, that roll around with, with tank, it. there was an expansion, three whippets. Whippets are a different version of a British tank. And with that came more scenarios. And then they had um, captured British tanks. With, you know, he did a really good job with the expansion. I was happy. It, a game like this is going to be easy to do for one reason and one reason alone. It's history. The, you're, not, you're not having to come up with, you know, rules of engagement. How you, you just need to come up with how to move, how to task things. Everything else has already been written. You just go with the flow. And, it's, and, it's and, like and for said, most people with the Great War, we know. Set right. up your machine guns and kill everything that crosses no man's and, land. And, and it's, like, it's like he said. This was meant to be a fun, uh, a fun game with... The uh, offshoot that, let's say, you know, you're fighting a battle that the British won. So your goal as the Germans is, is to change to win. history. Right, change history. So um, it, it seems like it would be a, a very interesting plus a very competitive game. This this would definitely be something that you would be uh, you would be uh, holding up to your buddies and and every guy saying you know try and beat me. <laughs> so anyways guys The Great War PSC P Games yeah, PSC Games Will Townsend Creator Second uh, Second Kickstarter Just ended Which is Tank The new The expansion Yep And the third expansion Is supposed to be The French The French We will wait Anxiously for the French To arrive Now personally I'd rather see planes But We go with how the, they What they Do their market research Find out what's People are interested in. I'm assuming we've got French. we probably got Americans and Turks coming at some point. And more than likely, though, if if they continue to do well, I would have to say planes will have to be in the in the, in the mix at some point. It's, it's gonna it's gonna have to come in. They did play a, a, a decent part. A in, significant uh, in World War One. Yeah. But then you gotta wonder: are they gonna go into an expansion for air warfare with blimps? That. That but then again, we get the planes, we can build the blimp. That would be very interesting. That would be very interesting. Just to think about having a blimp on the board. <laughs> but anyways, folks, this is the Great War. Uh, uh, we're waiting to dig into this one. We just haven't had a chance. I mean, we just did a 24-hour zombie game, and that was amazing. Yeah. Look on our Facebook, you see pictures of that. Uh, I will be posting some pictures too because I've been painting up some of the zombie side zombie miniatures, which we've already done one YouTube video on a fatty. Um, as always, guys, Tree Fort Games, Fayetteville, Georgia. That's where we go. Tim and I have been been there the last two Friday nights, yep. and Don was there Friday night as well. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Uh, um, that definitely, you know, stop by Tree Fort, give him some support. 
and uh, you know stop by our Facebook page like us on Facebook share us on Facebook check out the video on YouTube obviously share it as best you can as well hey and if you got any comments because we you know we have gotten a few and excuse the volume on the ent intro music I, I got I got a new uh, movie maker thing and I'm, I'm 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 playing with it so this one should be better <laughs> 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 Shouldn't be as loud. But anyways, I'm Eric. I'm Tim. And as always, guys, Game play on. on. We're just gonna do that in unison. I guess so. Have a good one, guys. Take care. <laughs>